All right, hello everybody. This is Nick once again from thearcadehunters.com. Remember, like and subscribe. That's what they say on YouTube. And I don't really think it works. But we are back at 24408 State Road 54 here in lovely Lutz, Florida at the Little Shop of Games. We just got done with the Foo Fighters Little Shop of Games launch party. And yeah, uh, I got it. So that's number five for me for launch parties. I got uh, 810 million got up to uh the fubot multi ball so um a lot has changed um marshall just wanted to let everybody know there's marshall there's the man himself he's got the guns now this is um a work in progress so um they're going to be changing up the store try to make it uh more a little more spacious in here uh show off more stuff so we still have the um the williams multicade and the arcade legends on sale uh once again revenge from mars uh going off to a new home got a deadpool premium very nice over here you got both rush pro and premium over here we had these all set up on our um, insider connected so it's really cool um one thing that um is weird with insider connected if you have two of the same game if you have a pro and a premium like we have led zeppelin and rush and also um james bond and foo fighters um it only shows up as one game so it pretty much everybody shares that same high score wall. So we got the Rush Pro and Premium, Led Zeppelin Pro and Premium. We got Jurassic Park Premium now for all you folks out there. Yes, they did announce a brand new 30th anniversary edition of Jurassic Park. Now, hey, Marshall, um, yes. any uh, 30th anniversaries available or are they all gone? Yes, we still have a couple available. Okay, so still have a couple of 30th anniversary um, limited edition um, Jurassic Parks. So if you want one, make sure you call up the store and get yourself on that list because they are being built right now at the factory in uh, Chicago. Probably the, the first ones are obviously going overseas. So that's going to be one of 500. So what they did is they did a brand new code update. So um, they actually updated it today. So it's version uh, 1.11. And um, they added on a whole bunch of extra stuff. Um, they changed uh, some of the modes on there. They actually added in, finally, Nedry ball saves. So if you hit the um, the light double scoring multiple times, it will build up, and then you can actually have a right ball save instead of getting those little, uh, the little uh, points, the little pittance points that they called it. All right, we got Iron Maiden, Legacy of the Beast, with the Aces high topper. Very nice. We got Godzilla. Take it home, rent it. We got Godzilla, we got Dr. No, we got You Only Live Twice, we got James Brown Pro and Premium. Very, very nice over here. And here are the two games that we played on. We got uh, the Pro, Pro Foo Fighters and first time uh, in the store, a Premium Foo Fighters. Very nice to have the Premium in here so people could uh, play the difference, get to see the, um, the Overlord toy in action, him shaking around with the magnet, and of course that extra... Harder mini play field, so you really got to earn your um, Area 51 multi ball. Our Jersey Jacks, we got Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. We have Guns N' Roses LE. We have Toy Story LE. 26. Yep. We got Godfather Limited Edition. And those collector's editions are slowly rolling out. I know they got a couple in and they already sold them, so go figure. So we're going to slide around over here. Once again, work in progress. We got the Pinball Alley sign. We got the Mandalorian Pro that came in. This is a single owner Mandalorian Pro that has been modded to the gills. Once again, it has the awesome um, Insane Topper on there. Um, it has a couple of uh, toys on there. Insider Connected, the Shooter Rod, the Volume Knob with the little Mando head on there. And of course, it has the moving Grogu that lights up. Very nice. Uh, we got the Jurassic Park Home edition from our fine friend, Mr. Jack Danger. And, of course, WrestleMania from Stern. First uh, Spike System game on there. Very nice. So we got WrestleMania. Shoutouts to uh, customer of the store. The one, the only, John Cena. Yes, he, uh, he he shops here. He buys games. So, yep, another uh, Godfather LE. Star Trek TNG. Lord of the Rings. Look at this. Got a nice topper on there. Um... Previous owner added in some extra toys. One thing about uh, Lord of the Rings was all of these little toys, um, people gobbled them up for these pinball machines. So if you ever see them online, they are they cost a bundle. Uh, got Bram Stoker's Dracula. 
very nice. I love this game. The Wins Wins. It's got that cool, um, got some black flipper bats, those uh, lightning bolt flippers. Speaking of lightning bolt flippers, we'll see another game. We got Starship Troopers back once again. A lovely Jurassic Park Data East. And it's got that awesome color DMD, so it looks super nice. Here's Gottlieb's Totem. Now, this one has the... Um, updated board set on it so it has a ball save and it also has a skill shot they've been adding that into some of the old Gottlieb games it makes it a lot of fun so if you got any of those old Gottliebs check them out over on Pit Inside. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find out uh who sells those sets you got a nice Doctor Who I'm pretty sure this was in the last video but here you can actually see it um they got some uh play field protectors on there so like this this game was pretty much a dud when it came into America because I don't know about you, but back in the 90s, I really didn't know that much about Doctor Who. Didn't really watch it on uh, PBS, but, you know, it was a huge hit all over the world. So now that people love Doctor Who, they get excited, like, ooh, there's a Doctor Who pinball machine. And they go, where's David Tennant? <laughs> it's like, nope. It was only when the first seven Doctors were out there. That was, uh, I think that was even before the um, the Fox special that had the, um, the eighth Doctor on there. They did the other one. So here we go. We got some... Uh, we're going to show off this bad boy after uh, that's going to be the last one. We got a Star Trek that just came in. Um, they're going to get working on this one. This was the, uh, I forget which anniversary this was, but like us. Uh, Bones, I think they got Scotty and Bones did some of the voices on there. Uh, we got Terminator Judgment Day. They just put in a pin sound board. If you guys didn't see the video that I shot all the way back when a couple of years ago at Pinball Dudes, um, this adds in, obviously, the music from the movie, but if I open up the, the door and we hit the button, listen to, it, instead of the doont, beep, 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 and then, blah, 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 yes, shout outs to the actor that they had to do that, and get the Stallone connection, the Stallone, yep, Rocky, once again, the nicest Rocky that you will ever see, beautiful Rocky, they are breaking down this brake shot it's all in pieces underneath here but um they're getting it ready awesome game if you have not gotten to play this if you like uh billiard style games awesome game from capcom you know the, the old saying is too little too late um this was a lot too late it sucks they had a really good designers they had really good artists fun play fields but they just didn't sell well and it didn't last unfortunately but hey it is what it is got ghostbusters pro once again you can rent it here at the at the little shop, very nice over here. Got Mr. Stay Puff over there hanging out. Got the color DMD. Got Pinball Brothers. We got Alien once again. Check that out. Here is Williams. This is Phoenix. I don't think I've ever played Phoenix before, but here it is for your viewing pleasures. Very nice. Need to put on all those color DMDs. And yes, you can see it here. The brand new game from American Pinball. It is Galactic Tank Force from designer um, Dennis Nordman. Big uh, shout outs, big ups to my friend, Mr. Steve Bowen. Bowen, oh my God. Used to have to force and play that guy at everything in the tri-state area. Everything said SSB and now, yeah, he's working on the, he's doing the game rules and the game code on there. Beautiful stuff from American Pinball, as you can see, this has, um, it has the, um, the rails on there. Um, here is the, um, the, obviously the tank, and there's a, a robot that pops out of it. We got the little cow that's on there. Ball lock over there. Pretty decent game. Um, one of the things I am not a fan of, I kind of wish they kept with more of the 50s motif. Um, they use dubstep music in it, and I really don't think it suits the game with like the crazy like 1950s you know sci-fi b-movie things and shout outs to the queen herself well the, she's called empress Anoya, but no queen's gonna slay miss carrie hawkins hawkins i'm pretty sure that's the uh original uh mortal kombat 3's sonya blade see that they fix very nice so once again this is all a work in progress they're going to be moving stuff so this is probably not going to look like this when we come for the um this the uh the september monthly tournament so 
Yep, that's a good look at the uh, shop here. Once again, give the guys a call. Tell them that Nick sent you. They'll throw in a special free gift. If you tell them that I sent you. Once again, Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. They still have some left, so make sure you get in on that. Um, also, uh, stay tuned to the channel. I'll be working on it this weekend. Uh, Marshall invited me over, um, and we got to check out the James Bond 30th anniversary game from Keith Elwin. So, what? Which one? 60th. 60th. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. I got. We got 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. 60th anniversary of James Bond 007. Though. Brand new Keith Elwin game. It's more to be like a electromechanical game. It was a lot of fun. And I hope you guys uh, check out that video. So as they say, like and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. And special thanks to Stern for sending us out um, the stuff for the launch party. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Once again, Nick from the Arcade Hunters. Thank you very much to Marshall at the Little Shop of Games. You guys all have a fantastic night. And we'll see you next time.